So imagine this guys, you did go over to a location maybe outside in a different country, you did record a video and you forgot about one thing you didn't notice during the recording. Maybe a logo, a distractive item inside your frame, you have recorded an entire video which was perfect except that one little thing that's inside the shot and you want to get rid of it. Well this video is perfect for you because I am going to show you a quick, clean and easy way to remove a distraction from your videos. Enough of talking, let's jump straight into the video and straight into the editing. That's right guys, welcome back to another episode of Shutter Sequence, the sixth episode already and in this episode I'm going to talk about removing a distracting item from your video. I did turn my cap on purpose with the logo towards the camera lens because I want to remove that logo from the video footage. So I'm going to select a snippet from this video right now and cut. Remove this logo right now and I'm going to show you how to remove it in a quick, easy, clean way. So all you need to do is do all your basic adjustments, edits, whatever you want to do inside your favorite video editing program. For me, my personal choice is Final Cut Pro. Once you're done with editing, color grading, everything and you're set to go and release that video, export it as you usually do. For instance, I did make this reel for KNF concept and I forgot about this logo from a different company on the tripod of mine. Of course, you can't advertise for a brand whenever the logo for a different brand is inside your video footage as well. So I forgot about that, uh, but I decided to remove it afterwards inside Photoshop. Yeah, that's right. Photoshop can handle and export videos as well. So let me show you in an instance. Open up the MP4 file format inside Photoshop and then we are open in a different type of window or working place inside Photoshop. And this here around here you have the timeline and in the timeline you can navigate and basically you need to think about layers and the way of working in Photoshop is similar to a normal working document in Photoshop except you have a different image per frame of the video. So you already hear me talking, I am going to remove the logo frame per frame manually. Yes, that's right. It's gonna take some time but your results will be so much rewarding and you won't see a difference. Of course you can also make use of some AI and newer video tools and things like that but this is a free way if you already own Photoshop or Lightroom maybe. But I'm going to stick to Photoshop for this one. So let's zoom in on the timeline a little bit. And first of all, I am going to play out the video and you can hear it uh, also plays out the sounds as well. So and then I have to basically move around inside Photoshop over on the timeline and as soon as the logo starts to appear, I am going to start removing the logo from the video and it appears to be like this. You can jump from frame to frame using these buttons over here and then you can basically remove frame per frame the logo and you can already see that it starts to appear over here. The tools you will use for removing the logo depends on the complexity of the logo or whatever item you want to remove from the video itself. So this is gonna be time demanding, yes I know, but maybe uh, you will get lucky and the quality of the logo or whatever item you want to remove is not that great and then it's really easy for Photoshop to just remove it with simple tools like the removal tool. For instance here you have the remove tool and you can simply select it and hit enter and you can see it really does a clean job. Now just one thing to keep in mind guys, this video will play around 24 to 30 frames per second over on Instagram so don't be too nitpicky regarding the removal of the logo, it doesn't need to be 
that clean at all just make sure that the lighting conditions are a bit clean and a bit similar to the original footage otherwise you will see some flickering over in the final result that being said let's show you how i did remove this logo so you can clearly see it goes really fast and this is a quite dark spot so you can clearly see photoshop even without ai is able to remove it really fast and you won't see it at all now i'm going to show you a different tool which might be useful to remove this as well because as soon as the scene starts to become a bit more complex you might be able to use a different tool instead of the remove tool you can for instance use generative fill so make a selection but that way it will take way longer because ai needs to remove the item frame by frame and you it will cost you some credits as well but what i often do is make a selection around the logo hit shift and then backspace and then you can basically fill with content aware and that way photoshop will make a really fast adjustment and it will most of the time really suit the lighting conditions of that shot as well now i'm going to continue over i'm going to show you a more difficult example like this so this is with content aware and you can see it almost nails the lighting conditions i need to tweak it a little bit and that way you can easily remove a logo from your video footage and at a fast rate now it will take a bit time but this is the most clean way to do it now if you don't film using moving objects or you don't move the camera around too difficult like for instance me talking here to the camera my camera is mounted on a tripod you can also try and do something different for instance I can add something here at the light or I can add something over here as well in the scene and that's all entirely possible because I'm just moving around in this window of the frame and that part of the window and that part of the window of the shots are not too much affected by my movements of course if I start to move around it will be way more difficult but using artificial intelligence or even the clone stamp tool you can basically make a mask for the video and then use that as a filter and apply it as a filter on top of the video layer and your favorite video editing program so for instance this reflection over here is in a static location and the camera doesn't move at all i am not gonna move around that item as well in the video so i can make an adjustment layer and just apply it on top of the video basically what you need to do is export one single frame using final cut pro adjust that frame inside photoshop or lightroom or whatever photo editing program you prefer save that frame again with a transparent background most likely and then all you need to do is make sure you don't move around inside that area and then you should be good to go so that's a different way it won't be that clean because it doesn't take shadow place and to account and things like that but it's a faster way and it won't take too long for removing the logo or the distraction in your video and that being said these are two ways to remove disturbing or distracting items from your video footage and i really hope it was a bit clear if you have more questions or alternative solutions please let them know inside the comments down below also guys it's also possible to add items that way using generative fill or whatever other type of technique you prefer to use and that being said i really hope you loved this video if you did please hit that thumbs up for more videos ask me anything in the comments down below if you have more questions and then the only thing that rests me to say is that you don't need to be great to start but start to become great see you in the next video bye